There is growing concern tonight that high risk high school sports may be postponed or even canceled again for the upcoming fall season in New York. It comes after the state education department released new recommendations for the school year. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes explains. This time next week, the Iona Prep football field is supposed to come alive with preseason practice. But for players like incoming senior safety Scott Mackey Jr., that season is now up in the air. It's frustrating. Um, football is so much more than just a game for me and my friends. It's, it's a social life. It's a brotherhood. It's a place where I can clear my head. The uncertainty comes after the New York State Education Department released its health and safety guide for the 2021-2022 school year on Thursday with recommendations for schools and districts. It advises, quote, high-risk sports like football and extracurricular activities should be virtual or canceled in areas of high community transmission unless all participants are fully vaccinated. The latest CDC map shows the entire New York metro area has high COVID transmission. That was a bombshell. It came totally out of left field. We had a successful spring season with virtually no issues at all. Um, that was before our state was vaccinated. Iona Prep does not mandate but encourages vaccination. Football coach Joe Spagnolo and parents are worried with such short notice, districts and leagues will just adopt these recommendations. We can't go on another year of losing or falling behind academically, athletically, and socially. In New York City, the Public School Athletic League is set to start on Sunday. A spokesperson says, quote, we are reviewing the state's guidance, adding all fall sports are returning this fall. They're also encouraging Encouraging, not mandating vaccinations. I do think they should be vaccinated. You don't want the COVID prices to go up and then the schools get shut down again. In the guide, the state says it does recognize the enrichment opportunities, school sponsored sports, and extracurricular activities like band and choir offer students. But it is concerned that some of them may help spread COVID 19. In New Rochelle, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.